Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about truth mastery or vital truth. Um, the, the concept here is a concept that uh, you probably have in your own life and uh, it is, um, can be summarized in a Sanskrit term or a Sanskrit expression which is Satya Yama. Satya means truth and yama means mastery or control. So the idea is very simple. It is that in your life, when you're communicating with people or the choice that you're making, that it's in accordance with what you feel is in really the core of your being. What tends to happen in life is very often we make choices not because it's something that we want or something that is in the core of our being, but just because we feel pressured from the outside, from circumstances, from people. We think that you have, we have to accommodate, we, have to, we feel that we need to be diplomatic with people, we feel that we cannot voice what we really feel because otherwise uh, people are going to hate us for that or they are going to disqualify us or they are going to stop spending time with us. And the thing is that, in my opinion, it works exactly the opposite way. It means that when you are more true to yourself, people are magnetically attracted to you because they feel like there is a power, there is a sense of ownership over your emotions, your thoughts, your beliefs, and you are basically bringing them out there and uh, expressing them in your own unique way. So Satya Yama, or truth mastery, is one of the most essential aspects of, uh, of uh, mind mastery or life mastery that you can express in your existence. And uh, I have like dozens of possible techniques, you know, things that you can do, uh, communication exercises, uh, ways of standing, uh, self-introspection, checking your values, uh, ways of voicing your truth, when is the right time to voice it, when you should hold back a little bit instead of, uh, you know, creating war with somebody, <laughs> you know. There are situations where voicing your truth can put you in trouble, you know. And uh, it's not always appropriate to go fully for it. But, you know, in general, in general, that's uh, a skill or a pattern or a power that we are not expressing or voicing enough. So the moment you are centered and you are voicing your truth in relationships and, um, and standing in your own power with that, usually people get more attracted to you because it feels more real. And uh, also what happens, especially in love, in relationships, in romantic relationship with your lover, partner, husband or wife, when you are more in truth, what happens is that you engage a deeper aspect of your emotions. Uh, if you're not in your truth, you might engage only half of your emotions. You might be like saying things just to be polite, and it's not really what, you're, what you want to say. Uh, you're not engaging your passion, you're not engaging your fire, there is very little energetic or emotional intensity in the way you are communicating. But the moment you are sharing your truth, what you are saying to your partner or your lover is like, look, this is who I am. Let's play with the full range of the totality of who I am, so that we can really engage all the dimensions, all the dimensions of our energies into this, um, into, this, uh, into this communication, into this relationship. So I hope you get the, the feeling. I'm going to record a set of videos today on this topic, on Vital Truth. So come back soon and check the other videos that I'm going to post in a moment. I'll see you soon.